Hey what's up guys, it's Kieran, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video. So as you can see, I'm no longer in my tiny little nursing home room back in West Wales. I've officially completed my placement, which means I've technically officially completed fifth year of medical school, which means I'm technically a doctor. All I need to do is go to my graduation and I'm there. But that is a whole other topic. My point is I'm back in Cardiff. I've got about a week here to pack up my entire life so I can move back home and then I've got about six weeks at home and then I start my first official job as an F1 doctor at the end of July. So it's about to be a bit of a whirlwind but also I've got like six weeks completely to myself. I've got no exams to study for, no obligations, nowhere to be, no one to see, literally just six weeks to myself back home for the summer and I am so excited. So I figured I would kick off my little self-care summer with a self-care day in Cardiff before I leave. I really wanna take advantage of the beautiful weather and I actually have a couple things that I need to get. So going along the lines of self-care, if you saw a couple videos ago, I went through all of my new goals for this sort of new chapter in my life and I talked about improving my self-confidence by keeping promises to myself and really making sure that I'm aware that I deserve to be taking care of myself and loving myself and part of that is in the mental sense and I'm really getting my head around that and working on that but part of it is definitely in a physical sense and I haven't been taking care of myself in terms of like a skincare routine, a hair care routine, that kind of stuff. And I realise it's because I've run out of pretty much all of my products that I would use. I've got no cleanser, no moisturiser. I really want to get an eye cream because I used to be very religious with putting on eye cream every day. And it's probably been about at least half a year, if not more, that I just haven't been doing any skincare. All I've been doing is splashing my face with cold water in the morning and calling it quits and I'm very disappointed in that because I've got quite dry skin and my face has just felt really dry for like six months so I'm gonna head into Cardiff city centre and do a little bit of self-care slash hygiene shopping get myself a new skincare routine look around see if there's anything else that I need and really just enjoy some time to myself after that I think I'm gonna grab some food and have myself a little picnic day I feel like that just sounds like the most lovely thing to do right now especially in this weather and I feel like that would really be romanticizing my summer at this point. I feel like I have the potential to thrive in the next six weeks and it's starting today. So I hope you enjoy this video and let's head off. Okay, so for my outfit of the day, I'm wearing this really cute dress. I think it's actually from Asda or Tesco. It used to be my mum's, but I kind of stole it. I think it's so perfect for summer. It's really pretty and I love the print on it. My jacket is from Topshop. I believe my bum bag is also from Topshop and then I'm just wearing some adidas sneakers. I'm also going to bring a tote bag with me with the book that I'm reading at the moment in it as well as a little picnic blanket and then obviously I can put my shopping in there and I don't have to pay for any plastic bags. So yeah that's the outfit of the day, let's head off. Waking up in the Wasting time is all I do. But Next up we are heading into Boots. I've never actually tried CeraVe products, but I've heard really good things about them. So I think I'm gonna grab this hydrating cleanser because I think that'll be really good for my dry skin. So I feel like I'm done with my shopping for today. So I stopped into Tortilla and got myself a rice bowl. So under here I've got the coriander rice, grilled veg, guacamole, lettuce, pickled onions, jalapenos, pico de gallo, all the good stuff. And I'm really proud of myself because I didn't get cheese or sour cream. So this is a vegan grilled veg bowl. and. I feel like it's just the little steps, the small things that make a huge difference because cheese tends to really bloat me. So 
now I can treat myself and not feel horrible after I've eaten and I feel unbelievably grateful to be sat here it's just so beautiful today so serene there's barely anybody around I've got my own little spot with my picnic blanket and just going to enjoy my rice bowl probably watch a couple YouTube videos and then get stuck into my book I also just wanted to mention that this is definitely going to be my drink of the summer it's so refreshing so much better than Fanta in my opinion it's the Rubicon orange and mango sparkling fruit juice drink. It's so, so yummy. Waking up and no Wasting time is all I do So as you can probably tell I'm back home now I had such a lovely day out but there is something about the sun that just makes me feel exhausted so I've come back I've put on my comfy clothes I'm pretty much just gonna get ready for a chill evening in but I figured I would do a haul of everything I got because I pretty much got everything I needed and I'm very excited about it so as you saw my first stop was home bargains because they tend to carry a lot of name brands but for like half the price so I figured I would just see what I could get there and see a little bit of money so starting off with just the necessities I needed to stock up on I got some more mouthwash I also got this mega value pack of floss harps and then I saw these spot zapper patches and they were only 99p so I figured I would try them but I've seen like zit stickers and pimple patches and things like that and they're supposed to just dry out spots as soon as you get them so I really wanted to try them out I don't actually have any breakouts at the moment but when I do I feel like these will come in really useful and then the last thing I got was just this headband which you pretty much just put on your head when you're doing your skincare and it's like a towel material so it'll soak up any water and that was one of the things that really puts me off doing my skincare in the morning it sounds so overly dramatic but I hate when my hair gets wet when I'm doing my skincare so this was only £1.50 but I feel like it's going to become an essential part of my morning routine and then I headed further into town as you saw I went to Boots and that's where I got the majority of pretty much my whole skincare routine so starting off with as you saw I got the CeraVe hydrating cleanser for normal to dry skin I've heard very good things about CeraVe so I'm excited to try that out although I was disappointed to see that it is extortionate it's so expensive so I hope it was worth it I then got this Garnier Aloe Refreshing Toner, which smells incredible, and obviously I'm gonna use that after I've cleansed my skin. Going along with Garnier, I got this Organic Rejuvenating Lavender Facial Oil, and I've tried this before. Firstly, it smells incredible. Secondly, it makes your skin feel so soft and like moisturized, so I decided to repurchase that. And then I got this L'Oreal Revitalift Energizing Red Cream Anti-Wrinkle Extra Firming healthy glow I figured I needed a face moisturizer I was looking for one with SPF in it but I couldn't find any and this one it is new I think it's got red ginseng in it and it just really caught my attention so I figured I'd get that and I also got from the same line the L'Oreal Revitalift hydrating eye cream and I think I was saying this earlier, I haven't used an eye cream in so long, but I really want to get back into it because I think it's the most delicate part of skin that you have in your entire body. And I think I should just be taking more care of it. So I got that. I also got this simple detox and brighten clay mask because I've run out of all of my face masks, my sheet masks, all of that kind of stuff. And I figured this was a way more sustainable way to actually use face masks without buying all of the sheet masks over and over again because you can get like... I don't know 20 masks out of this one tube so I thought that would be just better for the environment more sustainable and in the end a lot less expensive to go with that I got this face mask applicator because at the moment I either just use like a makeup brush or I use my hands I mean not gonna lie it's not exactly a necessity but I think it just adds a level of luxury to putting on a face mask and it was only like two or three pounds so I figured I may as well and then the last couple things I got myself a new razor this one is my favorite it's the Wilkinson sword quattro for women bikini razor so it comes with a trimmer and a razor and this was on sale from £12 down to 3 which I was so happy about because usually this is extortionate. But mine had just got really gross and rusty and wasn't really working anymore. So I figured I would get a new one. And the last thing I got from Boots was actually a silicone loofah. I use those plastic scrunchy ones at the moment and I've been doing a bit of reading on them. And apparently they're actually very unhygienic. 
they harbour bacteria and you're actually supposed to replace them every like three or four months and I've had mine for about a year now so thinking about that makes me feel really gross and it's not very good for the environment, it's not very sustainable so I figured I would spend a little bit more money and get myself a silicone loofah that's supposed to last over a year in comparison to the plastic ones. So this was £5, I usually would spend £1 on one of the plastic loofahs but if I do replace it every three months like I'm supposed to I'll end up spending about £5 a year anyway so it kind of balances out and I just think this will be better for you and apparently it lathers just the same if not better so I'm going to try that out later when I wash my hair. And then the last place I stopped in at was Primark. I got myself some new scrunchies for summer. These were only £2 and they're just really cute. I just couldn't resist. I also stopped through TK Maxx and got myself a new toiletry bag. I absolutely love this one because it's so big. It's going to be perfect for travelling to hold all of my toiletries as well as all of my makeup and I really like this one because it's one of those hanging toiletry bags and I was actually looking for one of these for when I went on my elective but I didn't find one that I liked in time so I'm really happy I found this to take with me on the trips that I've got at the end of summer and obviously just going forward this is such a good like catch-all for toiletries and makeup so I'm going to get rid of all of my smaller makeup pouches that I have and just use this. Okay I just got out of the shower and I figured I would test out my new skincare routine and see how it goes. Okay, well my skin feels freaking amazing. I don't know whether it's really picking up on camera, but it is so moisturized and dewy right now. I am so, so happy. So I would say that that was a very successful day of self-care shopping and pretty much just collating a new skincare routine for myself. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna end it off here, but if you did, please subscribe for more and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.